because if you're stressed out, your sleep suffers. Your sleep yeah. suffers, you're stressed out. You have high cortisol, so that's a vicious cycle to be on. People struggle with their weight. They have pretty good nutrition. They do a certain amount of exercise, still cannot lose the weight what they wish. And lack of sleep, too less, not enough hours of sleep, and the bad quality of sleep definitely will not help you to get your perfect weight. It's, it's so imperative and it's the foundation of health. Not feeling happy in life, feeling disencouraged, not pulling the trigger to do things what you should done. Too many people sleep on sleep, Klaus, and I know you know that. And yeah. sleep is the Swiss army knife to health. <laughs> Making unpopular decisions, you know, get, get rid of the empire, the, the bad people in your life. Uh, and to, to focus on good things, just is not really knowing what to do, yes, no, maybe, maybe not. Hey Keto Camper, this episode of the Keto Camp Podcast, we're going to discuss the most powerful tool in your health toolbox, sleep. I know sleep is not sexy, it's free and too many people sleep on sleep. I believe that sleep is the Swiss army knife for health. And when you focus on quality sleep, you build this foundational health, which makes keto and fasting and all the supplements and everything else that much more efficient. So my special guest today is Klaus Pumer, and he is the founder of Semina North America Beds. We're gonna talk all about sleep quality, for bed, sleep environment, and so much more. We'll get into Claus's story, how he became a sleep expert and why this is the uh, niche he wanted to focus on. We'll discuss bedding material. Yes, it's important to check the materials of your current bed. And he's gonna give you some things to look out for. And if you're searching for a new bed, you're gonna have a great opportunity to get a quality bed from their product. We're gonna talk about sleep cycle, cortisol, melatonin. And I love one of his quotes, which he said, we do not need an alarm to wake up, but we do need an alarm to go to bed. We'll talk about that. We'll talk about the role of EMFs, electromagnetic fields, and sleep or poor sleep. So grab a pen and paper, take notes. You're gonna love this special interview with Klaus Pumer. Let's bring him on the show. Klaus Pumer, welcome to the Keto Camp Podcast. Super cool, uh, Ben. I was looking forward for this final day to be on your podcast. Yeah, me too. We connected over on LinkedIn and we've been chatting for a couple months now. We finally got this all yeah. set up and I'm ready to jam out and talk all about sleep, the benefits of sleep and why it's so important to help others lose weight and have more productivity, more productivity in their life. Before we get into the sleep benefits, what is your story? How did you get involved with sleep? Why did you choose sleep? Share with my audience your story, Klaus. Yeah, yeah it's actually this all happened by accident and I believe accidents don't happen in life. Everything has a purpose and a reason. So I was born and raised in Germany, and I'm sure your audience will enjoy my very strong American accent or German <laughs> accent. <laughs> right. um, it's uh, hopefully enjoyable, but sometimes hard to understand. And Germans continue to speak very fast. So slow me down when um, I'm getting too fast. Uh, again, the recent born in Germany, uh, my upbringing was in a it's little small town, um, with 20,000 people live around it by nature. And I was always very interested in nature. At my age group, we did not really have video games and any other electronics. So my parents, you know, sent me out barefoot out of the house. So I was playing in, the, in our huge garden, of course, frequently. And I get us the, this direct connection to nature. And this was leading me to also look for a profession after school, but the result surrounded me with nature and I decided to become a cabinet maker. So a cabinet maker is harvesting the wood from the forest and you create beautiful furniture out of um, solid trees. They last much longer. They can they have beautiful color tones and it's an enjoyable work. So this, this naturally upbringing leaded me to learn a trade what had to do with nature. And after working in woodwork, I obviously start building bedroom furniture and bed frames and everything what has to supposed to be in a bedroom. I was looking for myself for a better sleeping environment and a better mattress. 
I did was already in when about 25 years ago, I already slept in the futon from Japan. Uh, this kind of product became very popular in, in this time in Europe. So I already was also naturally aware to have a mattress in my bed with non-toxic materials and no metal springs while there might be, you know, issues. So doing this, my career as a woodworker, I definitely saw the direct connection to the work, what I'm doing in sleep. And then in 1998, I decided to leave Germany for a new opportunity in Toronto, Canada, where I was resigning for the last 15 years. And in, in 2004, between 2004 and 2008, when the first rece uh, US recession happened, uh, my home furnishing business and my general woodwork business in Canada definitely had a negative impact. And I had to also look naturally for a solution. And what was very interesting during this time, even the Samina products and my woodwork are more expensive purchases. During a hardship, people still purchase this product, but they didn't purchase a dining table anymore for $4,000 while this was not really important. But what was, what was important was sleep. Mm. And the more you're stressed out and the more the times are difficult, that's the more sleep is becomes more important. And all of a sudden, people shifted their exposable income to a more wiser purchase and to a more healthier purchase and a long-term purchase. Yeah, that's a that's. A, I was gonna just interject that that's a, um, a a a losing experience because if you're stressed out, your sleep suffers. Your yeah. sleep suffers. You're stressed out. You have high cortisol, so that's a vicious cycle to be on. So yeah. I love that those actually saw the importance of investing in their sleep. Yeah. Continue. And, and then in the meantime, since 2000, I was in in direct contact with the owner of Samina, um, Günther Aman Jensen. Actually, his birthday is today on October the sixth. Ah. Um, and uh, we missed talking to each other. He had he had a family dinner, but I will do this after my podcast. So uh, the, Dr. Aman Jensen, he became my mentor uh, already 25 years ago, just around the time frame, a little bit earlier before I, I went to Canada. And he was just a friend and helping me, guiding me to my life. And I was a Samina sleeper since then. So obviously, I already had my first experience in a Samina sleep system. And I really recognize the benefits for myself. And I got so excited. I want to share those benefits with others. But I really never had too much time to focus on it. And my woodwork business and my home furnishing business was keeping me always sidetracked with other stuff. And this didn't come so important till 2008. But in the meantime, I was learning a lot from him. He actually has a handful of credentials. He's a psychologist. He's a medical doctor, he's a professor, he's a scientist, and he's just a pretty smart man. And he had a vision in life, and he shared me his vision. And then in 2008, we had kind of this experience where his vision really matched with my personal mission. And I totally shifted my focus from my business to one side to the other side, and this was sleep. Well, I was going to say that that's... Sleep, too many people sleep on sleep, Klaus, and I know you know that. And yeah. sleep is the Swiss army knife to health. <laughs> it's it's so imperative and it's the foundation of health. You and I understand that because we both prioritize our sleep, but a lot of people out there are, are, are not getting it. So I'd love for you to dive into what, what are the, some of the issues that can occur when you're not getting quality sleep every single night? What are some things that we, we see that are very common mm -hmm. with poor sleep out there? My poor sleep, um, of course, you know, overweight. Uh, mm. People struggle with their weight. They have pretty good nutrition. They do a certain amount of exercise, still cannot lose the weight, what they wish. And lack of sleep, too less, not enough hours of sleep, and a bad quality of sleep definitely will not help you to get your perfect weight. So one thing. Brain fog in the morning, just mm. waking up in the morning and don't feel refreshed and, you know, struggle with the first hour of the day, pushing your body with two or three coffees and, you know, being very cranky in the morning, already a sign of lack of sleep and not efficient sleep. Overall speaking, not feeling happy in life, feeling disencouraged, 
not pulling the trigger to do things what you should done, making unpopular decisions, you know, get get rid of the empire, the the bad people in your life, <laughs> uh, and to to focus on good things. Justice, not really knowing what to do. Yes, no, maybe, maybe not. So this undecisiveness definitely a sign of not sleeping well and have trouble with your sleep overall. Your face, your eyes, mine. You know, I talk to a lot of people. Um, with Zoom and of course doing many trade shows over the years, you can see already someone standing in front of you with a lot of dark eye rings. There is something wrong with the sleep environment, maybe genetics. Some foreign countries, you know, cultures have darker eye rings, but generally speaking, there is some indication there. So this shows you people don't sleep very well. Being consistently stressed out, you know, like in kind of super hyper, almost too much energy instead of having no energy. So it shows me somehow a balance. Skin irritation, you know, how your skin looks, how your fingernail looks, your overall appearance. Mine, the whole entire body function, or the say, let's say the over the total override uh, by a health of your human body depends on the proper sleeping environment. And I'm definitely not the expert, you know, to talk about nutrition like you and others, or you know, all the supplementation you can do or what kind of amount of exercise you we should do and all these other sleep advices. There is tons of people out there who really give you pretty good damn example what to do and what not to do and what kind of, you know, stuff you should, you should do. But no one in this world really talks about the actually hardware of sleep. What is for me the mattress? And what are some of the problems out there? Because the mattress, everybody's spending some time on that mattress every single day. So yeah. what are some of the problems you see out there with uh, mattresses? Yeah, my mattress purchases are, first of all, in the statistic of purchasing items in the United States is the second unpleasant task for humans. After what? Buying a car? Buying a car. <laughs> so it looks like the car salesman and the mattress salesman is annoying and you don't want to deal with this shit. And and it's shocking for me. So when I buy a car, I know what brand I want. And when I come to the point to buy a car, it's a pretty exciting day. Um, then I spend a lot of time in my car and I'm looking forward to get a new car when I think the time is right to buy you a new car. However, some people think this is an ordinary task. I understand driving is not the main task in life. And now with the coronavirus, we all learned how we actually can start working from home. And driving to work will maybe never be the same way how it was. But for a huge amount of people, this will not change. Then when you're in the service industry and you have to go to people's home to get products from A to B or service people's home, you still have to drive. Mm -hmm. So for a handful of people, this will go away. But for many people, this will still not go away. But the highways will be much less traffic. So we will save some time and hassle. That's true. Um, However, with this unpleasant experience, the mattress was always on the same level and seems like people understand they need a mattress, but they really didn't want to deal with the, with, with the time frame to purchase a mattress. And I think what I see the most, people didn't feel like to, to research and spend more time what is actually in the mattress and what when I understand what is in the mattress, then maybe I can understand this is good for me or this is bad for me. Yeah. So and what I are some things for the for the keto campers to look out for when they're looking at the actual hardware inside of the mattress? What are some red flags right here? Yeah, mine the red flags would be a metal springs mm. as, or called inner springs and any kind of unnatural material. And unnatural unnaturally materials is not only I'm talking about synthetic rubbers or they put petroleum in there in the fabric or fire retardants while the stuff should not burn. While this is an old American law, there should be some rain, flame resistancy. But also unnaturally means to mean any kind of product what you don't find in nature. And this word was created by a human and they sometimes put a little TM trademark or, and then they register this name like a cooling chair. So anything what indicates in the layout or description of a mattress, what doesn't sound like it's nature, you should not have in your mattress. Then it's pretty straightforward. The human body is poor nature. 
we nothing else. There was no uh, secret computer or robot creating us. We came from somewhere far away and we are just a poor natural in a creature and when you are a natural creature the last thing what you want to do is spend a third of the day this means you know a day has 24 hours and we break it apart in eight and eight so you most likely work eight hours it's the average right mm -hmm. you somehow sleep for eight hours and then the other eight hours are it's you know getting ready for both tests and have some enjoyment in life so when you spend a third of your day a third of the year, what is almost four months. And uh, and in, when you turn 75 years old, you spend 25 years in bed. I better know what is in my mattress to understand this is harming me or this is helping me. Because you were, we, that's a lot of time that we spend on our mattress. We're yeah. breathing in these, if, you're, if you have the wrong mattress, right? You're breathing in these off gases and it's creating inflammation in the body and these toxins yeah. they actually get stored they bioaccumulate some end up and go inside of our tissue some go in our fat cells mm -hmm. but they bioaccumulate and why are we taking more hits that are unnecessary nothing affects me more klaus than mm -hmm. poor sleep i could eat a crappy diet a mm -hmm. stupid american diet yeah. i could uh, sit on my butt all day long and not exercise and i would feel like crap for sure yeah. but if i got a poor night of sleep or consecutive nights of poor sleep, I can't function because mm. the truth is this. We could go weeks without food. There's been yeah. people who've done it over a year. You could go weeks without exercise, but you can't go weeks without quality yeah. sleep. You turn into a crazy person. So sleep yeah. is crucial. And if you're doing it and you're getting the hours in terms of quantity, you might not be getting the quality. And we're looking at the hardware here. We're looking at the mattress. So this sparked your interest because you you were doing it the right way and you saw so many people were doing it the wrong way. Yeah. So tell us about Samina Sleep and, and what you guys do differently. Yeah. So again, I think the, what is pretty cool with Samina, Samina is a brand who is around for 30 years in Austria, in Germany, in Switzerland. And by, what I think is so unique, the owner is a family business and the owner has all these credentials, as I said earlier. So I think you can really see this, how authentic a product can be. And this company was not started with some Silicon Valley money or hedge funds who are looking for a quick buck. He really took, took him almost before the first Samina system came out. He invested almost 10 years of researching how our ancestors slept. So he really want to understand, you know, what they did. While we know our ancestors do a lot of things, what we never really did not, what we did not know. But in when and when we know, then we know how smart they've been. While they had this direct contact to nature, while they slept in nature and they be surrounded by nature, and nature was their income, was their source of food and for a living, right? So they had way more direct contact to nature than we do. Uh, he also spent a huge amount of time and effort to look into space medicine then space medicine knows a lot about sleep what is really not shared with the general public and the reason space medicine is so disconnect from western medicine and general medicine is so advanced in one way but then in the other way so simple then when you fly up in orbit with the astronauts in an environment what is so different than earth then all of a sudden things from quantum physics and quantum years ago and billions of years ago it has a major impact. So he really spent tons of time looking at space medicine. So he spent 10 years uh, researching this before he even launched Samina Sleep. Before he launched Samina. And wow. then what he really wanted did, he also looked out, you know, what kind of mattress has been around 40 years ago. And, and he understood in the way how he learned why sleep is important. He was, his really first upbringing was a psychologist. So he had a conversation with people about weight loss and stop smoking cigarettes and mm. financial problems and marriage problems and problem with your kid and work related problems. And after you talk to a psychologist, you get your homework to do. And when you come back a month later or the next week for another session, he recognized one thing, they all had trouble sleeping. And then he saw the correlation with the lack of sleep and bad sleep. They could not do their homework, so they could not fix their problems. 
And he said, when I'm doing this one-on-one, -on -one, I can help maybe in a month or in a year, 100 people or 200. But he saw the big picture. He said, when I make everyone sleep well, then maybe I can help other people in much more easier and much more for the long term. And they don't have to go to psychologists to figure out the problem from the beginning while they have this power and they have this energy to deal with their own stuff without any additional help from the expert. And this is how Samina actually started. And then he said, you know what? When I'm creating a product right now, I have to understand the human body. So before he came up with the sleep system, he said, okay, we have a skeleton, our bones. So I have to make sure I'm creating a product what is orthopedically correct for my body, period. And on top, this should be independently for either person. Then most of the time, there's two people in the same bed. And when two people sleep in the same bed, they have different body heights, they have different body weights, they have different body shapes, and they have different ways how they sleep. And also they have different times when they go to bed and when they wake up in the morning. So orthopedically, he had to look for a conclusion. He also understand after our skeleton, we do have something called uh, joints, tissue and muscles. So when I'm creating a sleeping product, this has to be good for our muscles and our comfort. So this was very important for him as well. The third layer of our human body is our bioelectrical system. So our heartbeat, our heartbeat is nothing else than a little tiny battery. What we have to keep running, then when our battery is empty, we kaput. Mm -hmm. um, and, and till in 2020, the cause of that number one in the United States and Western countries are heart diseases. Right. Yeah. Obviously, the bioelectrical system has a major impact on your general health. So he had to also research what can I do to make sure my bioelectrical system is working perfectly and I have no negative side effects. And then the last layer of our human body, number four, is our biggest organ, but that's what is called our skin. Our skin has the main has major main function uh, during the nighttime and daytime. So he had to involve our our function of our skin in our bedding product to make sure we we get the most benefits out of there as well. And when you really then look combined, the big picture with Samina is we're not covering one or two aspect of good night sleep. We really covering all aspect of good night sleep. Wow, there's a. <laughs> I had no idea there was so much uh, thought process and research that went into it. It's pretty impressive, Klaus, really impressive. Yeah, and this is the reason 10 years of research, right? A countless of hours, many people de denying him his success. He, many people, including his patent lawyer and other people tell them, this will never work. You will never sell a mattress. Never, never, never. Yeah. So there was a lot of you know op op opticals on the way, but he never really gave up. He said there has to be a conclusion Conclusion and there has to be a solution to make this better. Then, then, then I'm sure he suffered himself as well and his family, and he was not happy with his own sleeping environment. And this is the problem for me now. I really like to give other companies some credits who are creating similar product or maybe products who are very close to us. But it's really, really hard for me to do that while there is always a shortcut somewhere and there's always something missing. And I think this is the, this is the so European approach. I noticed for my upbringing in Germany, my, when, I was, when I left Germany, I was 32 years old. So I'm a real German and I really got through the school system in Germany. I got my apprenticeship done in Germany, became a master cabinet maker in Germany, including five years training in Switzerland. So I really have the similar mentality. I don't like to make shortcuts. I like to get it all done right. Then I know when I do it right, I don't have to think about it for a long time to replacing my product or changing something. And I know I get the most out of it. While I, why I would go to bed, and I would only get 25% for me when I'm in bed already anyway, you know, it's a waste of time. Then I can also say instead of sleeping eight hours, then let me sleep two hours when I'm getting nothing out of anyway, right? Yeah. So when I want to go to bed, I want to make sure my body actually can heal when I'm sick or unhealthy. I want to make sure my body can recover the most during these eight hours. And I really want to make sure I wake up in the morning and I'm ready for the next day to deal with all my tasks, what I have in front of me. 
Yeah, well said. I appreciate the attention to detail that uh, Samina puts into the the product. You're you're so right, Klaus, because if you upgrade your sleep, every single area in your life automatically is upgraded, right? So keto works that much better because you've lowered your cortisol levels, you've lowered your inflammatory response. Now your fat burning hormones could do its job. You're just more resilient. You're making better decisions. And and, and it's an investment, right? It's not an yeah. expense. No. If you if you purchase this bed, it's an investment, not an expense. Your health is never an expense. It's always an investment. So I always like to reframe people because that's very important to understand. So the, you talked about one of the red flags in most mattresses is having a metal frame. Is that because of the EMFs? And how is your bed different when it comes, is it protected against EMFs? And what are EMFs, if you could explain that briefly? Yeah, so we're talking actually two kinds of metals. We're talking actually the metals of the mattress, what called inner springs. Mm -hmm. And we could talk, of course, of metal bed frames. And a lot of bed frames have re have options to increase the head or the foot level with a little a button with an electro motor. So those things are definitely not good in your own bedroom. So you should avoid metal bed frames with this option for reading upright or comfort positioning to 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 press a button while this is attached to the outlet and there is an electro motor with a lot of copper under you and this really creates a huge problem and we're talking about the inner springs the actually metal springs of a mattress so all this metal attracts electro fields and magnetic fields what is what the exposure comes from power lines in your walls and from power lines ar around your house in the backyard or front, wherever your power lines are. But not only we're talking about electromagnetic fields, we're only talking about radio frequencies. So radio frequencies are the invisible frequencies, and those are frequencies to talking to devices back and forth to transmit data or doing a certain function for convenient for you. For example, I have a little remote for my TV to change the channel or turn the TV on and off. I can have a little remote for my air condition or my fan in the bedroom on and off. So all these Bluetooth devices or wireless devices creating something called radio frequencies. Hey, if you're getting any value from this interview with Klaus Pumer, please take a second here to smash that thumbs up button. And if you're brand new to the channel, welcome. Subscribe to the channel, hit that bell so you're notified when we release a brand new video. Okay, let's get back to this conversation with Klaus. Um, the human body naturally has no exposure to this, especially when we walk barefoot. And barefoot actually is highly recommended at least a half an hour a day to ground yourself naturally to the earth. And when you do this, and you can do this especially in the summer months or spring and fall, you just take your shoes off, you remove your socks and you try to find a piece of soil or grass you are able to release the positive neutrons on the body and recharge your body with negative neutrons. And when you have a mattress environment, what A contains no metal bed frame, no electro motors, and no inner springs, you will improve this function substantially already, but it's still not good enough. And one of the reasons we do have a grounding pad, the, the, what covers the bioelectrical system, in a Samina bed, you actually able to be grounded, what equals walking barefoot six to eight hours on the beach and really, really, really have this exchange between the positive and negative neutrons. So wait, wait, so you're, you're grounding blanket by sleeping in it six to eight hours a night is equivalent to walking on the beach six to eight hours uh, barefoot. barefoot. Yeah. And actually, oh, wow. it's, not, it's not actually a blanket. It's a, it's a pad. A pad. And this pad is the, the layer number three in Samina. So when we go from the top to the bottom, like the human body, skeleton, joints, tissue, muscles, a bioelectrical system, the third layer in a Samina bed is a very thin layer of uh, cotton uh, embedded in merino wool with 55% of silver and magnets going from the left to the right side. And this looks like a yoga mat. So this product actually is removable from the bed and you're able to travel with this product. And when you're used to sleeping grounded, you try to want to be grounded in any environment where you go. Obviously, you cannot take your mattress with you, but you can at least take your grounding pad with you to have a similar effect in regards of sleeping in neutral environment. What is so important, Ben, when you start sleeping grounded or you just sleep in a mattress with no metal and no bed frame furniture and metal, you have two side effects who are very healthy for you. 
you will increase naturally your melatonin level and you will also lower your cortisol level. The last thing, as you know, high cortisol level will interfere with your sleep efficiency and with your sleep quality and automatically will increase your body weight. And also and impair your immune system as well. Exactly. And then the missing melatonin doesn't give you the sleep efficiency what you need. We need enough melatonin to really get to the deep sleep and get the proper REM sleep. So this snatch, this is totally distracted from the beginning. And of course, there is some supplementation. But the problem is with supplementation, when you buy unofficial melatonin, the pineapple gland, what is a tiny little organ, not bigger than my fingernail, in your brain will recognize, hey, I'm get a sub I can get the supplementation now. I don't have to do shit anymore. So your pineapple gland actually start working also, and then you will never create your own natural melatonin anymore. And you depend on the supplementation, what will be never the same quality and will be never the same efficiency than your own melatonin, what you can create yourself. And this costs money. So your own melatonin creation actually is for free in one way when you have a better sleeping environment, right? And this is just simply to get to get rid of all the electronics in your bedroom to turn off your cell phone when you go to bed, to unplug the Wi-Fi router. Mind, those are all things you don't have to spend money for it. True. I, you know, it, of course, at some point you have to buy a grounding pad when you really want to reach the top level. At some point you have to buy a better bed or a better mattress when you want to come to the top level. But for now, after this podcast is public, just do those things who are easy to do and don't cost any money and look, and listen to your own body and see if this helping you or didn't help you. And I guarantee you, this will help you. Before I tell you how you can know this is helping you, the second thing what is so important, when you sleep in an environment full of EMFs, your red blood cells, we have approximately 3 billion, they're losing their oxygenation. And what's happened is when the blood cells lose the oxygenation, we create something called in the Western medicine world, human inflammation. And human inflammation is a silent disease what takes years to really come to the surface. And I'm not talking one year or two years. I'm talking five years, 10 years, 15, 25 years, and even longer and then all of a sudden, all this stuff comes up and you really wonder why I did not know this earlier. And unfortunately, those silent diseases and is show up so late. The problem is when the oxygenation is gone, your red blood cells that glued together like little pennies. You know, when you go to the bank and you deposit pennies, you yeah. have to put them in a little paper roll. And this is the idea. One penny on top on another penny closes the closes the opening of the red blood cells and no more oxygenation. So instead of having three billion blood cells with oxygenation, you're ending up with one billion or 500 million or whatever, right? And this deficiency will not give the body enough oxygenation to heal in the nighttime. Mm. And this actually is acknowledged by the world well, by the world. Uh, health organization and this equals to smoking one pack of cigarettes per night mm. everybody understands smoking cigarettes is not healthy and be pretty cautious and we don't even like to go in the restaurant or actually there is no more restaurants in north america <laughs> where smoking is prohibited right exactly when, when you go to europe like france and germany there's tons of restaurants still available where you can smoke indoors in north america no in canada it's a little bit different too, but everybody understands I would never have my meal in a restaurant where people are able to smoke in a not non-designated area. So we do understand this idea, but the, the silent disease of EMF in your bedroom and have a metal spring mattress and have metal piece furniture and electromotors is nothing else than smoking a pack of cigarettes. Jeez, what, what a recipe for disaster, man. <laughs> well, so how, you said you're going to share about, you know, how do you know that this Amina bed is making a difference for you? So let's say somebody purchases the bed. How soon will they notice results and what are some of the things they'll notice? Yeah. So when, we, when we're talking now strictly about the EMF, EMF exposure and you buy some inner bed with a grounding pad or without, while the grounding pad is optional, mm -hmm. not everybody believes on grounding. Unfortunately, there is also a lot of misinformation in the internet about grounding, um, but it, they're, they're after my opinion and other many influences 
uh, they're all wrong. There is enough hard evidence now grounding is healthy. And I never saw a study where they can prove grounding actually harms the human body. Those right. kind of studies don't really exist, but the other do. So the first self self assessment would be think about it how often you dream when you wake up in the morning. This is a very good self assessment anyway, and this works with not buying any other sleep device to measure your sleep. So just go to bed, wake up in the morning, have a little paper up there, a little booklet, and make a check mark when you had a dream. Any time you wake up in the morning and you remember a dream, and you maybe really know the contents of your dream but at least you know you have a dream make this check mark when this happens daily then i know as a holistic sleep coach you had deep sleep and when you had deep sleep then i know you had healing going on you had you had your body was able to recover between 12 o'clock and 3 a.m in the morning this is the time when your organs need to do the work to get ready for the next day this function is hugely compromised on the nights when you wake up in the morning with no dreams. And Samina, Samina for sure has a very positive impact on this self-assessment with a grounding pad and without a grounding pad. Yeah, that you want dreams. I dream all the time. I uh, uh, So uh, that's a good thing, right? Because it's, it's also not just stage four delta sleep, but it's also REM sleep that helps yeah. uh, take short-term memories, process it for long-term memory. Yeah. And helps you function better. Okay, so you'll get so that's one thing you want to pay attention to without using some sort of sleep tracker. Write yeah. down a check mark if you're dreaming. What else? Um, when you want to have it more precise, then I'm, I always recommend the Aura Ring, mm -hmm. the most sophisticated yeah. device out there. It, it pretty inexpensive. Maybe sometimes you know that maybe the score shows you have a perfect day readiness and you don't feel like it, but things happen, right? Yeah. Every night, every day can be different. So yeah, right. but pretty a pretty good. A device to use and highly recommended. Um, so let's go back to the start orthopedically. When you wake up in the morning and your back hurts, then there's something wrong. Mm. And, and I, I think, you know, this is something so what is so important. I think most of my customers, before they became customers, they got the idea maybe they didn't sleep well. But I think many people who don't want to deal with this subject to improve their sleep environment, they don't even know anymore what a good night's sleep is and how should good night feel sleep. So feel, true. Right? Yeah, they're it's so good. used that they're used to feeling like crap. They're, it's yeah. like a no new normal for them. But also, what is crap for you? Mm. Everybody has different standards, different levels of crap. And you know, I I, I always say this: I, I have a very high tolerance to go to a dentist. And when I'm going to a dentist, I don't get a needle. I don't need a needle while my threshold on pain is up to the roof. You can really hurt me and torture me before I really make a noise, right? <laughs> and even the dentist says, this is a little bit spooky here. <laughs> Something is wrong. I know a lot of people, even they're walking in the door of a dentist, they need already the first needle while they're already freaking out, right? Yeah, me too. So I, I think the that. problem is with your own threshold, what is a really good night's sleep and what is a crappy good night's sleep is so out of order while everybody has different opinions and you don't share this with others. So when you don't share it with others, there is no baseline. What yeah, is the point. baseline for a good night's sleep? What the fuck is this? You know, why is my $200 Amazon mattress or Ikea mattress, why I should have a crappy sleep compared to a $10,000 Samina bed or a $25,000 Hasten bed or a Vicepring or a Daxiana or any other of the high-end mattress brands who are in those price range. What is the baseline? And, and the, the, the scary part is even you buy a mattress what is way more expensive than Samina, that the contents of the mattress does not provide a good healthy sleep either, but the dollar amount necessarily tells you this either. So this mattress purchase is so tricky. And the only way to figure this out, what is right and wrong for you, you have to spend countless of hours and actually, you have to pick up the phone and talk to a consultant from the company to really learn about their product. You cannot learn this out on the homepage. Hmm. And this is what we want to do with Samina. We encourage people actually to call us and to have a natural conversation. So I understand, first of all, what is the baseline for your own sleep? Where are you? You are one or you're already a biohacker and I'm talking to someone who is at an eight or a nine and he wants to come to the next level, right? Right. So we have all these different opinions and you have to share your personal feelings about sleep and your bedroom. Mind the bedroom is the most personal environment, right? 
Yeah, you want to you want to protect that environment too. Yeah, my in the bedroom there happens two things, right? You have a, a spouse or partner in life, so you have a loving relationship, and then you want to heal your body and stay healthy, right? And then your whole life is in the bedroom. Think about it. You're born in a bed. First of all, go back. Your parents most likely conceived you in a bed. Mm -hmm. most likely you will be born in a bed or my son was born in a bathtub okay different story happens too uh, for choice uh, but then you raise your child in bed you become a teenager in your bed you learn your education in bed on the end of the day while when you learn in school during the day you learn the thoughts go to your brain you reorganize your brain and you have the knowledge the next morning right yep you grace you 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 become a working you you become an adult you go to work you gen generate your income with after sleep while you go to work and on, the only way to generate a certain amount of income is when you're ready for work and you can do the work what you're supposed to do so your whole life is in bed and the bottom line is you most likely will die in bed so i don't see you know this is not an important part of your life and you have to spend more time and effort to research the product what you want to buy and then hopefully make your own decision what is right for you and what is maybe not right for you and with samina you know what I want to point out is Samina is made in Austria. So when you get a product that comes from overseas, there is a disadvantage. The product is maybe more expensive while there is additional charges for getting products from A to B. There is duties to pay and other related charges. But on the other hand, everybody understands a BMW, a Mercedes-Benz, a German appliances, a Swiss appliances, or Austrian product, they are better. Everybody knows European products have, generally speaking, the, the general knowledge. This is a more efficient product. This will save me electricity or water consumption. This will last much longer than other products. And this also will give me more benefits. So on the end of the day, more money up front, but more reward on the back end. Yeah, it's an investment, and it's a, it's, a, it's a smart investment. Look, I'm convinced. I, I think you guys do a great job. Uh, you've done a great job with all the attention to detail to the point where I'm actually going to upgrade soon and get a Samina for myself and for yeah. my girlfriend who lives with me. She's going to love the bed when we get it. Um, so let me ask you this question because a lot of people are going to go. They're going to look at the price. And they're going to let the price determine whether or not they should buy the bed. When we mentioned earlier, it's not an expense; it's an investment. Yeah. How long will does this bed last as an investment? Yeah. So, Samina, there are some items who last lifetime. For example, we have those wooden slats as the as our base of our bed that do support to the natural spine. Those wooden slats last the rest of your entire life, and whoever will use the mattress after. Between those double layer of wooden slats. Um, we have natural rubber and we are using the Talale rubber. What is the more expensive rubber? Well, this rubber is free of petroleum and fire retardants, even after the European norm. Um, so this rubber will, will get re has to be replaced in a time frame between 15 and 20 years. So this is pretty long already. And then you do not throw the entire mattress away. You just exchange the rubber part and the rubber products. And I want to point this out. I forget very often in the United States on yearly basis, American people throw 20 million bed frames to the dumpster, to the bin. 20 million? 20 million mattresses. Wow. I've contributed to that a, couple, a few times throughout my life. And this is crazy. So That's when crazy. you think about with the global warming... Yeah. And you think about the fire forest here in California and Colorado and Washington State, what goes on in our forests and all the other pollution stuff, what goes going on, the more trash we create, that's the worse our environment will get. So and yeah, this it's is unnecessary. the problem. You buy the you buy inexpensive products, even you buy expensive expensive products. But when you understand they're not healthy for you and you don't get what you want to hope to get, you will throw it away. There's no other option. You cannot keep the stuff in your house. You have to get rid of it. Samina is a natural product what came from Earth. So when you replace my Talale rubber, throw it in the compost and wait five years, the rubber went back to nature. It's composing. <laughs>
Amazing. Same with our organic cotton, with our merino wool, and with our ash wood. Even when you would throw the ash wood slats away, they will be composed at some point. So we we just really have an authentic natural product with zero impact on our environment. And we have a very low carbon footprint during the manufacturing process from the beginning, while Samina is handmade. There is no machinery. There is no magic uh, foam uh, uh, vacuum press who creates synthetic forms, who who, praise, who who creates this. You know, the pop-up mattress market is huge. You buy this mattress in a tiny box and you open up the box and this mattress is exploding in your bedroom. So this mattress is created by a machine with synthetic forms full of fire retardants and petrochemical. Mm. Maybe this thing must cost you a thousand bucks. So it's easy to spend thousand dollar eight hundred six hundred, and then this thing inflames in your bedroom, and you have to live with it or throw it away when you don't like it. Mind that there is not one piece handmade. Nothing is nature. This is just against any natural rule of a healthy lifestyle and consideration of our our nature and global warming for generations to come. Mind is a total and totally negative impact what you're creating. And in the meantime, you still don't have a good sleeping environment, so you harm your own body. So I guess what I want to say is bad decisions penalize not only you, it also penalize generations to come. Well said. Uh, yeah, you know, you get what you pay for. But even with that, you said something earlier that there's other companies out there that do a really good job with their mm -hmm. marketing and their branding. Yeah. And they cost even more money than Samina but they're not quality. Like if you actually did the research and you saw what, what they use as materials, it's just, let, it's, it, it should not be that price point, but it is. And people are falling for it. No, no. Let me say the, the price point reflects the quality of the product. The quality is equaling to comfort in a mattress. The comfort has nothing to do with health. And I think this is where the disconnect is. Those $25,000 mattresses from this one brand, and actually they have mattresses for $45,000, $100,000, and they just created a mattress for Drake for $450,000. Wow. That is totally extreme. This is a high-end quality product. There is no question asked. The question is, what is the health benefits for me? When you buy a mattress, don't look for the comfort necessary or the quality. Look for what is what is the health benefits. When this mattress has 280 pounds of metal springs and I take a body voltmeter, what shows me a reading of 2,000 to maybe 5,000 millivolt, and I will totally destroy my my melatonin and increased cortisol, I will totally destroy my 3 billion red blood cell with oxygenation and I will totally sleep in this environment. I cannot heal. The human body will get sick. Mm -hmm. The question is how long I can deal with this to not before the symptoms show up to get to I get sick. Mm -hmm. And I have a lot of 50% of my customer are EMF sensitive people. The reason is I have a very close relationship with Dr. Klinghardt from Seattle and Dr. Mikola and Dave Asprey, who are all huge Samina fans and sleeper. Mm -hmm. So, of course, I am in, in a world of referrals. They see the negative side effects from people who have EMF sensitivity. I see and it the first, And you have to change this. And again, those products, and this is so tricky, there is organic mattresses out there. They use merino wool. They use organic cotton. They're using Talale rubber, but then to keep the price point low, they put metal springs on the inside. Mm. And this is not for me organic anymore. You cannot consider an organic mattress truly organic in the moment you put metal springs in. So when you buy a mattress, really make sure mattress metal free, 100% certified organic German standard. American standards have too much wiggle room. You can buy one component in your mattress this can be only 10% of the entire mattress, and you're still allowed to call this mattress naturally. Hmm. You buy 50% naturally products, you allow to call it organic, but the rest doesn't mean it's organic. That's and crazy. This happens. You still have to make sure your mattress follows the human body. You need a flexible base, 
too bad I don't have a we don't see a mattress, but go to my homepage, SaminaSleep.com, and look at there is tons of videos uh, where you can see where human lie on my mattress and how flexible those wooden slats. You need something what supports your lower back. Samina is a called the active and passive system. So think about it. Your spouse weighs 200 pounds. And 200 pounds is pushing down and my wooden slats are pushing up. And then all of a sudden your spine is supported on the lower back. And mm. beside you, you have a partner who weighs 120 pounds and the heavier person will always compromise in a typical American mattress, the sleeping of the lighter purple mattress partner. But with Samina, our mattresses are divided in the middle. So we are able to contour to does to the body weight of each sleeper doesn't matter you are light or heavy or vice versa right so this is pretty damn cool and orthopedically you need support in your lower back on your shoulder then when you stand think about it and that's the reason standing desks are doing very well for one reason orthopedically you give your body a big favor to sit stand sit stand and also you know as a keto guy you know how important this is to stand during the working hours and not sit all day in front of your desk right that's right yeah so it's, it's so, so orthopedically you have to find a mattress what can turn to your body you need a very thin of rubber to make sure you have no pressure points on your joints tissue or muscles then when you have a pressure point you have numbness and your arms fall to sleep and you will wake up in the middle of the night and this interferes with your sleep cycle mm -hmm. and with your sleep efficiency you have to get rid of your own emf you can do all the own stuff, turn off your cell phone, Wi-Fi router, how we said. You can even do one more thing better. You can get the kill switch or walk to the panel box and turn off the breaker. But guess what? You live in the urban environment. Your neighbors next door give a fuck. They're having an extender to the cell phone signal or you're living close to a fire department, to a hospital, to an airport. You cannot get rid of those outside exposure. And you know, the scary part is a cell phone frequency can travel easily 10 miles to the next cell phone tower. Mm. And in the moment you have a Wi-Fi router in your home or the cell phone close to your head, you, you right ex have right exposure. So you need a grounding pad, period. Also, the grounding pad is very healthy in regards of earth magnetic influence from our environment under the sleeping area. Uh, we're not only taking care of electromagnetic fields, we also bring your head to a North Pole and your feet to South Pole, what has extremely positive side effects. And we also stabilize the earth magnetic field, what is very better for your sleep efficiency. And then last not least, let's talk about dust mites and mold. How many people have dust mites and mold in their bed? And how many people we know who got exposure from mold and actually mold and Lyme disease, autoimmune disorder, and any kind of human inflammation, they're all very close together. Yeah. So, and mold appears in conventional mattress a lot. When something, think about it, something cannot breathe, what's happened? The mold, the moisture, and the human body, actually, I want to point this out, a human body per person loses this glass of water every night. Mm, yeah. It's a detoxifying process of the human body. Through when breathing. This, yeah, yeah. When this moisture is penetrating your mattress and the mattress can not uh, hold this moisture and you do this day by night by night and you have an environment like Florida where you live, where you yeah. hardly open the windows while the outside moisture is your high and the old air condition actually will increase the moisture even more while when you wake up in the morning and you open up the curtains, you have the water drops on the inside of the window. There you can see how the moisture drops down. When this moisture stays in your bed, it's only a question of time when you have mold. And when you get sick of mold, this health bill is thousands and ten thousands of dollars to get healthy. It's it's uh, yeah. It's, I, I personally got I had mold toxicity in my old house. It was filled mm -hmm. with mold, so I actually left the environment. But yeah, it's 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 mold is nasty. It's disgusting. Yeah, and, and I'm not saying mold is only the bad problem of the mattress. I know mold is problem of the bad plumbing, of mm -hmm. leaking plumbing lines, yeah. of the way the house built homes during rainy season. There's thousands of doing the bed roofing. There's mm -hmm. thousands of reasons why people have issues with mold. But when you have this perfect multi-million dollar home and say everything is done correctly, the mattress still has an impact. And when you're not lucky, then uh, let's, let's say this way. On the end of the day, health has something to do with some amount of luck. I know people who live the most healthy lifestyle, including non-alcohol 
non-cigarettes, perfect nutrition, a huge amount of exercise, and those people got sick. So sometimes it's just what it is. We don't have a, the magic answer for everything either. What you want to do is with a purchase like this, you want to limit the risk factor and the percentage to get sick from the beginning. And hopefully you will increase this number substantially to stay healthy. Yeah, we want to just take less hits. Okay, so for the keto campers who are inspired to go get a mattress, we have a special deal for the keto campers. If you head to saminasleep.com, Samina, S-A-M-I-N-A, sleep.com slash keto camp, you could also enter the coupon code keto camp for a 10% discount. If you have more questions after this interview is done, feel free to give Samina Sleep a phone call over at 626-768-0311. And their email is info at saminasleep.com. I'm going to put all this information, by the way, down below if you're watching here on YouTube in the uh, video description notes. And if you're listening on the podcast, it's in the podcast notes. I hope you see this as an investment and not an, an expense. And final words for the keto campers, Klaus. Yeah, final words. I can talk about this subject, obviously, days. So first of all, I encourage you to not go on the homepage and look some of the cool videos we have and what other people said about this who are much smarter than me and maybe the owner of Samina who really did great work in this world like Dr. Mikola, Dr. Klinger, Dave Esprit and, and Ben and many others. I want you to pick up the phone. I want you to reach out to us and really have this personal consultation with us. It's for free, no attachment to it. And I really want you truly to understand why this investment is needed for you and your family and why this investment is needed for generations to come to save our world and our planet. And in this time of coronavirus, I only can point this out, our immune system seems like a key factor to stay healthy and protect yourself from coronavirus, including wearing a mask and social distancing for now. But sleep, I think, contributes a huge amount of to, to this issue to protect you and your family and your loved ones. And I think we took sleep for years already not serious enough. The conventional bedding industry branded us to don't spend no money for a bed. Or when we looked in the luxury bedding market, they teach us to spend thousands and ten thousands and twenty thousands of dollars to buy a luxury item like a Bentley or a Ferrari or a Mercedes-Benz or a BMW. But think about it. How much is... I know you get enjoyment of, of luxury products. I too. And but what is in for my health? Always think your final purchase process. What is this healthy and what is in for my health? When this is poor luxury and you have an exposable income, do it. Enjoy life. When you don't have enough income, there is also one magic word, saving. I was raised as a little town boy in a little small city in Germany. I earned $5 every Saturday to bring the milk from the farmer to my local neighbors. And I saved this hard-earned $5, and I was able in one year, two years, or three years to buy whatever I want without asking my parents. Nice. I'm, running, I'm running my life today the same way. I'm not getting disencouraged to buy something what I cannot afford today, and I will not use my credit card. I will save $200 in a month, what will equal to $2,400 in a year, and in four years, I have $10,000 in my bank account. And for $10,000, I you will be able to buy a Samina queen size bed almost complete. With, a, with my Puma bed frame, with the incline sleep option, and we didn't talk about incline sleep and all the health benefits to it, you will be able to make this investment after saving $200 for four years. And this is no hard beat at all. So just start saving money and do it. I, I will well save you. I will save you thousands of dollars later on. On going, and this is the shocking part. Did you know, Ben, when the average couple retires in the United States with sixty-five, and they have Medicare, and Medicare pays a lot, right? Medicare is pretty good for the retired people. You still need, in average, two hundred and fifty thousand dollars till you die to pay all the other bills who are not covered. Mm. 
a quarter million of dollar that's just crazy. crazy well you know somebody needs to send drake this episode <laughs> the keto camp podcast cost thank I'm you on it. <laughs> thank you so much for coming on the show and uh for you and the entire team over at samina sleep for creating a phenomenal product i can't wait to get mine and start getting even better sleep because my sleep is pretty good, but I know it's going to be exceptional with your mattress. So thank you for coming on here. We'll do it again where we, where we talk about more about incline sleep and all that. And uh, I hope the keto campers go out there and take your offer for the free console and eventually getting the bed so they could benefit from all that we discussed. So thank you so much again. And I appreciate your time. I delighted. Well, thank you so much for watching the entire interview with Klaus Pumer. I encourage you to go check out the links and the resources down below for this video. Go get a Samina bed. There's a link down below for you to go check them out. And I also want to direct you to this next video with America's Sleep Doctor, Dr. Michael Bruce, where we talked about things like banana tea. We talked about his book, The Power of When, why some people benefit going to bed later, some benefit going to bed earlier. We talked about biohacks for sleep and so much more. Michael Bruce has been featured on TV shows all across the world and other networks. You can watch that video by clicking that right there and I'll see you in the next video with Dr. Michael Bruce.